Here it is, the Quest 2 from Oculus. Just got mine in today. Um, some people got theirs a day early because that's uh, just the pre-order they sent out a day early apparently. Um, there were several who also got theirs in advance for review purposes, I did not. I had to buy mine and uh, wait for mine just like everyone else. But I've been looking forward to this. Um, I loved the Oculus Quest. I was a day one adapter of the Oculus Quest. And I have it. I had its gripes uh, you know, from back in the, when I first did that video too. But this one alleviates some of my gripes, but there's still a few things that I have uh, a slight complaint about. I'm gonna talk about that in this video. Also gonna cover just a few games I was playing today uh, as I was testing this out. And, um, and we'll show you some of that video footage as well. And I love the old school stuff, but I like new stuff too, like VR content. So make sure you're subscribed. I do at least two videos a week. I would appreciate it. Anyway, this is the box. Um, not, nothing too fancy, nothing too special anyway. Has a couple of, just like the old fashioned, you know, has a couple of games you could check out for sure, no doubt indeed. Includes the VR headset, two touch controllers, two AA batteries, power adapter, glasses, spacer, which I need because I wear glasses, and the charging cable. Um, there are two units available. There's one at $299, that's the 64 gig one. You pay an extra 100 bucks, you get the uh, 256 gig. Um, that's what I opted for on this one. There are also a few peripherals available already. There's a adapter that makes it better. So if you have like a narrow face or a wide face, I have a wide face for sure. Um, there's a spacer for that. I ordered that. That's not going to come in for a couple more days, but I did get the Elite Strap. One of my biggest complaints about the original Oculus Quest. It was too top heavy. Um, it just kind of weighed down on my little chipmunk cheeks here, but uh, the strap was supposed to alleviate uh, some of that, or there, there was like strap adapters and stuff. I couldn't get anything to work properly, so I was like, hey, you know what? If they're going to have an extra strap that you can use um, to alleviate some of that um, stress that the other Oculus Quest 2 should already kind of alleviate, um, I'm all about it. I paid an extra 50 bucks for this, and we're going to see if this is worth it too. So here are both side by side. You can tell that the original Oculus Quest is a little bit bigger than the uh, Quest 2 here. And I want to point out too, on the side, there's only one port for headphones. This one had a port on either side. Any side will give you stereo or they have these, which I just use the double earbuds, which I loved using the double earbuds. Um, that way I can have them both in. If I'm playing like late at night, all the kids are in bed. Um, but, or if I'm playing and the kids are trying to go to sleep, but they still wake up and they need help with something like that, I can play just with one ear in so I can keep the other ear open uh, in case somebody needs my help. And they only have on this one the one earbud, so I can either just play it um, one-sided or um, I can use a set of headphones and it'll give me that stereo sound. And USB-C for charging once again, which is great. It is just with the standard test like this. <laughs> this one is definitely lighter. And I gotta point out the out-of-the-box head strap. Now this one, the original Oculus Quest, it's like this kind of poly, I don't know, it's like this kind of rubbery material which you think is fine, but man, I, th I think it adds a little bit extra weight to it. I don't know what the durability is on something like this. Um, I don't know how long it'll take for it to just become brittle and snap, like an alternator belt or something. But this one here on the Quest 2 is this kind of stretchy material, which I absolutely love. The That rubbery material was fine, but something like this, you can stretch it. So if you have a giant head like I do, um, this will already be better set. I'm looking forward to seeing what the other strap will do too. You're going to want to adjust it for whoever's playing like such, that kind of goes down like that, that adjust there, and there you go. Now, here's one of my first gripes as well. My glasses don't quite fit. They almost fit too well. Um, I'm hoping the adapter that I ordered will fix that problem, but it's just kind of weird that I, you know, like these glasses are a little bit thinner than my old model. When I had my original Oculus Quest, I did that video, I had a much thicker rimmed glasses. These ones fit okay but they don't fit so okay in this one, just because it's a smaller unit. Fortunately, I do have an old pair of glasses of mine. These are my Benjamin Franklin glasses, and these ones will fit in here just fine. So when I have this around, I will also swap out my glasses until the other adapter shows up, and that may work too. So again, not too bad. This one is lighter. I can already tell right up front that it's lighter. Uh, it is supposed to give you a better visual quality too, like not so much uh, of that, what they call the screen door, kind of thing you know what I'm talking about. Um, PlayStation VR games have that pretty bad sometimes, especially when everything's all black, you can see kind of both sides. And this one, from my point of view, and from playing this one to the other one, back and forth, back and forth, this one I think does have a better visual quality too. So I'm okay with that for sure. Like if you want to take it off, it just comes right off like that. The other thing I thought was interesting was on the Oculus Quest, oh here, let's just show you. The other thing I thought was kind of interesting is on the Oculus Quest, they have this slider bar here. This is to measure your uh, lenses. So it'll be, no matter what face you have, uh, where your eyes are set, you can narrow it down to where your uh, eyes, are, eyes are set using this uh, slider here. There is no slider here. You literally just the lenses themselves. The problem with doing this though, 
is you have a chance of getting fingerprints on the lenses, and that's not a good look at all. I have mine right about in the middle. And that's good news for me, because usually someone with a giant head like I have, um, I'd have to do a lot more. But as you can see too, when it's comfortable, this strap is like halfway down, and you don't even need to adjust these because they're stretchable. So if you have a huge head, I'm talking about I'm like the last snap on snapbacks. Some hats don't even fit my big head, but something like that, you know, for someone like me, I think it's absolutely great. The other thing though, you gotta consider is that spacer there. The other thing with my original Oculus Quest was I opted for a more comfortable headset. Now this one's a little bit more patty and foamy. This is from VR Covers, right? And it doesn't adapt to the other one. Like this one won't fit in that one. So I have to either wait, <laughs> <laughs> or they also make covers for it. I tried to attach one of the covers to it. It didn't quite fit. Um, I'm gonna try again. It might be a little loose, but um, we'll, we'll, we'll see about that. I don't know, we'll see. So again, this one fits really well, but let me try that $50 one. Maybe it fits better. All right, so the installation on this thing is easy enough. I just took off the old one, and this new one, just kind of pop right onto this thing. Snaps right on there. And you feel like that is not big enough. It's an adjustable dealio. So just put it all the way to the back. This kind of reminds me a little bit of that little back snap thing on um, on PlayStation VR. You know what I mean? So something like this, adjust from there. This already feels pretty sweet. And then again, with this uh, guy right here, tighten it as much as you want. Oh my God. I'm cool with that. I mean, the other thing, the other strap, this strap right here, it has the outward facing camera so I can actually see you right now. Um, this strap right here is super nice is really, really, really great. I really, really like this one. But this adjustable strap, I mean, you don't need it. Again, 50 bucks, you could buy yourself a couple of uh, Oculus games, you know, maybe grab a few Oculus games for 50 bucks. But this, if you're gonna be using this a bunch, like I plan on it, this is the way to go. I feel, again, it's lighter. I feel super secure in this thing. Ah, oh, there we go, look at that. I'm okay with this. Yeah, this, uh, to me personally, this, um, this $50 head strap adapter thing, 100% worth it. But again, if I didn't have this, I would be completely okay with the strap that it came with. But this one, um, I think just the way that it's everything set and shaped, man, it was, it's like it was made for me. I'm appreciating that for sure. Along with the headset, the controllers themselves have uh, are, are a little bit different. Not much different, but a little bit different. I mean, they're really about the same, about the same size and shape and everything. But if you look in there, the placement of the Oculus button that will uh, either like go back to the menu or it will... Uh, you know, it gives you other options or you hold it down to center yourself. This one here is almost right in the thumb's way. So a lot of people did not like that button there. I didn't mind it personally, but you know, just with it being right there, you always end up accidentally hitting it. While over here, it's more to the side. So you have to really work at it, you know, to think about it, to hit um, the same button. And the same button does the same thing. Again, the Oculus Quest 2 is not a new Oculus system. Um, I mean, yes, it's a new system, but it's like going from like the DS to the DS Lite. It plays the same games. It's just a little bit different. And again, same for the menu button too. You can see there's more button space here, like more space here than on the, uh, the, the first model to the second model, just like where your finger placement is and everything like that. It gives you a little bit more room. So, I mean, that's gonna come in handy. Um, I didn't notice it as much. I did notice it just felt, it feels the same, but it has that just extra something to it. I don't know. So when you're playing your games, it's gonna be all right. Of course you wanna keep the riffs track. Nah. Now, fortunately, I already had a bunch of games downloaded on here, some review copies, some games I purchased as well. Now, with the Oculus Quest, I had to go back in and I had to kind of just re-download everything. There might be a way to transfer all my files from one to the other, but I'm okay with starting fresh anyway, you know? So, um, I played a few games when I was testing this out today, and here are the games I was checking out. Now, the very first game I fired up was Beat Saber, because Beat Saber now has a multiplayer menu. That's right, a multiplayer option. You can do room codes if you like, invite your friends along to play games with you. Um, you can't chat, like you can't, you don't have a voice ability to talk to each other. However, I was able to just jump into a lobby and just, you know, play whatever game popped up. And I'm not very good at Beat Saber. I love this game though. And it was cool to see the other players playing at the same time too. You create your avatar and all that and, um, and play some Beat Saber, but you're playing uh, with friends or uh, with, yeah, soon to be friends. <laughs> and it's a free addition if you already have Beat Saber. I didn't have to pay any extra for it. It just came like this. That's awesome. I love it when they do stuff like this. Phantom Covert Ops was my favorite game of E3 2019. When I went to E3 last year, this was the first game I played there. I was like, this is already the winner. It's Metal Gear Solid, but you're in a kayak. And I'm not making that up. If you have an Oculus Quest... If I was to choose any one exclusive that you've been, like if you're getting this game, if you're getting a, if you're getting a quest, getting a quest too, 
You want my recommendation for what game to get? It's this game right here, Phantom Covert Ops. Because again, like I said, Metal Gear Solid in a kayak. You're always in a kayak. So you play the game sitting down. Kind of nice, right? Especially if you've been standing up for so long playing games like Beat Saber and whatnot. It's nice to have a little seat, have a, have a just, you know, chill and uh, play a cool little stealth game where you're kayaking through these uh, waters here. You can shoot the other enemies. You have your gun, you have a rifle, got a machine gun. Um, man, and you know, other do little interactive things too. Like you reach out and grab the, uh, you know, grab the lever to you know, pull it down or, you know, it's, man, I can't talk highly enough about this game. It's awesome. I checked out the game Onward, and Onward is a really, really fun game. You definitely want to play through the tutorial because there's a lot going on as far as like where your guns are, how to reload, how to uh, shoot, <laughs> how to maneuver, and more. Um, best played multiplayer, but I like playing this as just a single player. Uh, the single player mode, you can just pop yourself into a scenario. It's going to be you versus however many enemies you want to put in here. I just put in four, and I chose this little kind of suburb area uh, for the uh, battleground here. But you just have to find them and uh, take them down, and you have fun doing so with your with your machine gun, depending on what your uh, what's it called, what your loadout is. Um, so usually you have like a machine gun or a rifle. You also have a pistol. You might have a grenade or two. Uh, it's just fun to play and fun to just kind of walk around and be around. And again, you can play this on a one player. You don't have to play this multiplayer. Uh, multiplayer is better. Multiplayer is more fun. Uh, but one player, man, I, I enjoy doing this one all the same. Now, because I love planets and I love outer space, this is Titans of Space VR. I forgot if it was like an astronaut or someone on the ISS, but he was just like, hey, you know what? There's nothing like seeing Earth unframed. And the, when he said Earth unframed, he was like, that's right. Every time I've seen Earth, it was always in a picture, uh, in, on a TV show, uh, in, a, in a book or something like that. Uh, but to actually like look around and see all around you and everything, it's... Um, it's kind of trippy. It's, it, it, this game kind of gives me a little bit of an outer body experience just by nature of, you know, I'm just looking around and here's Earth. And when it comes at you all of a sudden, you're like, oh, you feel like you're falling. <laughs> you know, and these uh, this video here does not do it justice. It's kind of like when you see a picture of Mount Fuji and you're like, oh, OK, there's a picture of Mount Fuji or at least for the Northwest. Like, oh, here's a picture of Mount Rainier or, or here's a picture of the Space Needle. That's fine. But when you see it in real life, again, unframed, you're like, oh, my God, that's that's huge. It looks great. And when you see, like, again, you see the planets in this game, you see the moons and all that. And this is just an interactive experience. It's not a game at all. It's just, it's a little tour of outer space. It's more educational than anything. But when you see it, you're just like, oh, my God, that's huge. Especially when you see, this, you know, the sun. You can you can compare planets back to back. It's like, you know, in the moon to uh, Mars. You know, here's <laughs> which one's bigger. <laughs> Stuff like that. This is a new game, it just came out, and it's called Until You Fall, and I'm so glad I was able to play this. I have it on my PlayStation 4 also, and on PSVR, uh, but now that I have it on the Oculus Quest, man, this is this is great. It's a fun little kind of hack and slash thing where you just walk up to the enemy, and then you initiate a battle. And you have like your little dagger, and you have your sword, and you have to uh, parry their attacks, and then slash them. I know it sounds pretty simplistic, but this game's really a lot of fun. So if you're into this kind of game and, you know, you don't have to move around a whole lot, you're, you don't have to walk around the room or anything like that. You just kind of stay where you are. You can play sitting down if you want. Probably recommended for standing up, though. Um, it's fun to just, you know, attack them and then, you know, dodge their attacks and, <laughs> and get your upgrades along the way, too. You might want to check out Until You Fall if you're looking for something new to play. And there's so many free demos that are available. Make sure you check out all the free videos that are available. There's so many other apps too. And again, you can also watch YouTube in VR. You can actually go to YouTube through the YouTube app on the Quest 2 uh, and look up VR videos on YouTube. Make sure you check out this other video of all these other great Oculus Quest games you can play right now. Oh, it's like I had a brilliant idea all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for watching. I'm a huge fan of VR and Oculus Quest 2, so make sure you're subscribed. Always new stuff coming out soon. I'm going to turn this off now so I can get back to playing more, and I'm going to see you very soon.